Praise the Lord. Greeting in the name of Jesus. And at this time we are uh, asking for any prayer requests that we may have before we uh, start our Bible class at 9 o'clock. In Jesus' name. And praise be to God. Thank everybody for joining us. Thank you so much. Amen. Hallelujah. Any prayer requests? This is the time for intercessory prayer. one request to pray for teenagers any other requests Okay, let us pray for teenagers. Most gracious God, we intercede in prayer. We join hearts and hands. Each one of us, Lord, wherever we may be, as we pray for our teenagers, wherever they may be. And we pray, God, that you keep them from harm and danger. Those at home, those who might be in school, we ask for them that you that you that you not only guide and protect them but you, you you anoint them lord with your love and keep them lord uh close to you as we pray that they seek to stay close to you and that they remember all the teachings that they have gotten about you in sunday school and in church and for those who are not saved and for those who are not in church, we pray for them too. We pray for their health, and we pray, Lord, for their soundness of mind. And all these prayers we are asking in Jesus' name, amen, amen. 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 Well, we thank God for intercessory prayer that we can come together and pray for each other. As you can see, I have put um, tonight's scripture, which is Psalm 46, uh, for our Bible class, verses 1 through 3. And also, the topic is about leaving your worries behind. Amen. Leaving your worries behind. Leaving our worries behind. Okay, we have a request for praying for troubled people seeking comfort from alcohol and drugs. Indeed, and that's important. Prayer for 
people to be freed from alcohol and drugs. Yes. Most gracious God, we join hands and heart together. We're praying for people who are addicted, afflicted by drugs and alcohol. Every day, uh, many people succumb to those substances, and every day lives are ruined and families are ruined. And we do have a, an epidemic all over the world. We pray, God, that you bring your peace into these, into our lives, and those who are affected would find special comfort and joy through knowing you. Ultimately, the only remedy that is there for them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for sharing in our intercessor prayer. We are going to break for one minute and then we'll come back with our Bible class life application Bible class for tonight and I encourage you to share to share in this class and all classes Amen I know, but when you go there, it might change. It might <laughs> so, it's okay. Okay, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, God is good. God is good. We, we're going to start our Bible class tonight. Sorry for the slight delay. Uh, what it is is um, setting up the... Um, television um, there's some tests that I have to do and and uh, and by next week I'll have uh, have it go 
in such a way that um, everything will come up right in my study here. But we want to start with Psalm 46 tonight, uh, verses 1, 2, and 3, and let us, uh, let us share that. Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the hurt gives way. Though the mountain be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountain tremble at its swelling, God is our refuge and strength, a very pleasant help in trouble very powerful comforting scripture let's pray most gracious God we're so grateful and thankful for this opportunity to share your word with your people and what a wonderful thing to be able to leave our troubles behind because we realize that you are our strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. Amen, amen. What a wonderful verse of scripture and how it has helped countless thousands of people over the centuries. Wonderful. Just to think about it is so encouraging and refreshing. But is that all we're going to do with that scripture? Just repeat it from time to time when we're down, when we're facing some serious situations in our lives, or are we going to live it and apply it to our lives? So even though, that even though it seems like the sky may be falling, and the roaring seas overflowing at banks and even the roar overflowing the hills, the dales, and the mountains of our lives, that we can live a life reflecting that God is our very present help in the time of trouble. Well, you know, we could say, and rightly so, it doesn't say that trouble won't come. As comforting and encouraging the verse might be, the assumption is, the insinuation is, the fact is, that trouble is going to come. And as a matter of fact, if you think about what the verse is saying, it's really saying that the trouble is going to come often. Because if he's ever present, if he's always present in our times of trouble, it means that there are going to be a few. But to know that God is there is a wonderful thing in spite of the troubles. But look at this. How can we act? How can we act? How can we act in the time of trouble 
that God is present. How can we act even before there's trouble? And if trouble might come, that God is present with us. How do we act? Oh, I know sometimes we fall apart. I do. Sometimes we're like groping in the dark. I do. Sometimes we just don't know where to turn. I do. But if we could just take courage and act and speak and think in a way that will demonstrate that God is with us. Oh, the verses are insinuating also that if God is with us, the troubles can overtake us, can overcome us, and can defeat us. Because the good news is that God is with us. I get an imagery in them. I get an imagery. When you walk through the storm, you, you're not afraid. You can whistle in the dark. Walk on, walk on with hope in your heart. Because God is ever present. Walk on, and as you walk through the storm, you leave the storm behind, you leave the wind behind, you leave the billowing waves behind. You leave the worries behind. You know, for most of us, most of the times, and I know for me, it's not the trouble. It's not the trouble that's coming, the trouble that passed, the trouble that we're in. Most of the time, we, God helps us anyhow. The problems are fixed. Things come together. You know what the biggest thing is? Many times what the real storm really is. In fact, what the actual trouble might be. Our worrying. It's the worrying that gets us. It's the worrying that makes us forget that God is ever present in our time of trouble. He is our help. And He's ever present. But we worry so much that flies out of our mind. So let's go on, move on, move up, move, 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 leave it behind, the worries I mean behind. Satan behind us. Stamp on him, step on him, walk over him and leave our worries behind. It's the worries. The worries that don't make us think straight. The worries that make us make mistakes. The worries that just gnaw us spiritually to death, so to speak. But I thank God for Jesus and for the Word of God. How can we apply this in our lives? Maybe some of us, if not all of us, right here, right now, 
We are worried about something. God knows that every morning we get up, there is a new worry. Go to our jobs, there's something to worry about. We come home and there are more worries at home. Worries all around us. Every time you feel so down and everything is just seems like it's collapsing around you and you just start to worry and worry and worry and worry and worry. Psalm 46 1. Psalm 46 1 2. Psalm 46 1 2 and 3. And leave those worries behind. Amen. God bless you. We thank you, Lord, for your word tonight. We thank you for the sharing. We thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the inspiration. And we pray, God, that you continue to love us even as we leave our worries behind. Amen. 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 We're open for questions now. Questions or anything to share. Praise God. Praise God. Questions or anything to share, just type them in. I'll get back to you right away. God bless. Hey. Okay. 